welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to work with the busy indicator component in Qt QML. this is a component which is found in Qt quick controls and i'll be going through most of the useful components in Qt quick controls in the upcoming videos i was actually thinking of uh, teaching all of them in a single video but i think uh, i should explain a bit further like how to customize it because it's a bit tedious right so let's get started now let me run the application once and yeah this is a busy indicator this is quite useful when you are loading some or you are showing a loading animation uh, let's say you are fetching some data from the internet right let's say you are fetching uh, any um, let's say you are fetching the weather from the from any api from the internet or let's say you are uh, loading a csv file which is quite large so you need to show some progress to the user till the time the loading is completed so for that you need this busy indicator right let's see the different types so let's see how material type looks and as you can see it looks a bit different from what was the basic one and let's see how uh, universal looks yeah it's a bit small uh, so let's change the width and height so it's visible properly yeah now let's run the fiction once yeah as you can see all of these styles are different now the question is how to customize it right so i'll be showing you how to do that now let's say the color now is blue right it's uh, a shade of blue so let's change the color to green so if i say color green you see i'm getting an error it says invalid property named color right mm, then how to change the color so this is quite tricky right uh, for that you need to go internally in this component what i did was i clicked on this i pressed control on my keyboard if you are on mac you have to press command and then you have to click on this uh, component right then you will be seeing the internal implementation of it right so before that let me show you something different i'll import material theme right and let me go inside see here we have to change something related to color i can see here it's color right and it says control dot material dot accent color like right? now forget about everything else let's uh, say what control is control is nothing but this root component right so in a way i am referencing this root using control right so this is an id right this id's material accent color is being used now let me show you something right this is the actual implementation file and this is our main file here we are seeing busy negator right now let me show you something right let me show you something there is a property called padding here let me go to the main file and let's say i change the padding to be 20 right you see it's perfectly fine i'm not getting any error that is because this padding is a property of the root element the root element is the first and the initial element of the qml file so this is a root element property i can access it from outside right from outside this is a qml file main.qml file from here i can access this components padding property because padding was a root component but what if i want to access the duration it's in the opacity animator right so if i want to access the the duration of the opacity animator let's see if i can do that here if i paste it i'm getting an error so in a way i can only access the root properties if I want to access the duration, I need to add a variable here called property uh, int qr and then set it to 250. And then instead of duration, I'll say dur or I'll say control dot dur. Now, if I can, I can change this from outside because this is a root property and then this will be changed. Right. So this was a demo. I'll show you this in much more details when I work with more component, more complex uh, codes in KML. Right. So let's uh, leave it for now but yeah anyway i wanted to change the color so i have to change the material dot accent color because this is a root property 
right let's type let's change this accent color to green now let's run the application once and you'll see we'll be getting a slight error this is only a problem of material it says invalid property assignment accent color is a read only property so we can only read this property we cannot change it so a fix i found was just remove this color and only say material dot accent right if you do that you'll be able to change the color yeah. now as you see you see it's a green color initially it was red so if i remove this it will it was red yeah now let's see universal let's see how we can change the universal theme initially i think it was blue yeah let's change it to red here i can see color control dot universal accent here we can directly see the accent is given so yeah its accent is writable so i'll just say universal dot accent to red sorry red let's run the application once yeah it's red now right now uh, let's see another theme let's say we can go with uh, fusion yeah so commit it out i bet for fusion you see for in color it's palette dot text so i'll just say palette dot text is uh let's say blue and it's blue right initially it was gray so uh, i'll show you one last one because there is no way to modify the color for the imagine component right let's see how it looks yeah it's blue in color right if i want to change it to red let's see if you see there is no such property called color here right it's an image it's an image so an image has a predefined color right so we cannot really change the color and that's the problem right so yeah so in a way this is the problem we cannot change the color for the imagine imagines this indicator right so the best thing is to use something different like material or any other like which can be changed like whose color can be changed now that's about like changing the custom color and all or changing the width and height now if you want to add your own loading animation right for example let's say i have a website loading.io and i want to add this animation so what happens is you can use a property in qml called animated image my bad animated image now the problem is animated image takes only gif files gif gif files it does not take svgs right so that's the problem you if you you have to give it some source so let's say anchors dot center in parent and let's say we give it some source now this only takes uh, gif files and you cannot download svgs it will not run so that's a catch you have to have gif files to be able to animate it i'll download it and i'll place it in my folders image directory i hope you already know how to add custom images right i am not repeating that i have already added an image here right i'll just copy the url and paste it here i'm not showing this because i already showed it in my previous videos right if you have any doubt like you can go back and watch it and as you can see we have a custom image uh, right so we can also change the width and height right so this is a way of adding your custom loading animation you have to add gif files uh, and yeah i think that's it uh, i know that the lecture is a bit extended but i had to show all of these custom components because it's important uh, to customize your own indicators right your own switches or this indicator or a uh, check boxes or radio buttons and similar stuff right so it will be a bit lengthy but you will learn a lot and it will be quite in depth so thank you for watching